hello everyone and welcome to a new Horizon 4 episode. Today I'll do something new related to the auction house. Cars that you should sell ASAP. Dump them all in the auction house before series 28 to try and squeeze some credits out of them. You might have guessed why I recommend this, well because some of the cars are going to be featured again in the next update. And luckily we already know which those are thanks to the monthly live event from Forza for which I'm doing a summary as soon as it comes out. So let's see what cars we should try and sell before it is too late and update 28 arrives with its refeatured cars price tag drops. You can check all the unlockables from the next series in my summary video linked in the video description if you want as in this one we'll only mention the ones that have the highest chance to add some credits to our balance. If you like what you see and learn don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks! For the upcoming festival playlist completion we can unlock the Toyota Treno for 80% as well as the backstage pass for 50% which will allow us to get any one car from the backstage. So basically we can sell the Treno for 13.3 million credits as well as any other car that we know we'll buy from the backstage. Just remember that for a new Treno you'll need to wait at least 3 weeks and fully complete at least the equivalent of 3 seasons to achieve that 80% including the rivals and online adventure events which add up to the completion of all the seasons at once. Regarding the backstage, so far we don't have many to choose from. And I'd say the Hot Wheels Mustang at 12.8 million is the most expensive out of them till now followed by the Lotus Series 1 and its 12 million price tag. Yet again cars are added here daily and will continue once the new update kicks in with one car per week, so who knows what goodies might make their way to the list. Because of this uncertainty I don't know if you should use your Horizon Backstage ticket to make some credits if you are still missing rare cars, as this is another chance for everyone to vote and get them. Please keep in mind that you'll only get one Horizon Backstage per series which is 4 weeks for now for that 50% festival playlist, so usually during autumn if we fully complete summer. Now for the seasons, starting with summer 80% you can get the V6 Clio which has a buyout price of 8.7 million, followed by the iPace 10.2 million from the seasonal summer games, which you now just need to complete when it's not mandatory anymore, so it is very very easy, while for the rest of summer 28, the Rossion Q1, Mercedes W154, the Hoonigan Nova and the Pista are only worth around 1 2 million each so better not bother with them to sell in the auction house if you are not in desperate need of some credits. From Atom you can try and sell the Zenvo TSRS from its 50% for only 3 million unfortunately and the IDR for 80% for just a bit over 6.5 million that if you plan to achieve these percentages. From the trial the 85 Mazda RX-7 is worth a bit over 8 million as well as the Toyota Corolla SR5 worth 6.2 million and the ID-01 for 6.5 million credits if you manage to sell it for the max bid of 6.5. Blizzard's near winters here, the Super Van 3 from 80% completion is kinda cheap to bother with, capped at only 3.3 million credits. So better focus on the 92 Toyota MR2 from the trial, currently worth a whooping 20 million credits. The GT70 from the winter games is right on the edge at around 4 million, while the E63 featured in the last chance saloon championship way too old and only worth 2.6 million. 
And the last possible highlight of winter, the 94 Celica is unfortunately worth only 1.7 million in the auction house, so I don't know if it is worth it to wait for a sale. Well, for spring, again, only if you are sure and plan that 80% for the Formula Drift 599, currently worth 8.5 million. You will arrive at your destination. as well as the HSV GTS Air for 50% worth just a bit over 8 million. From the championships you can get the speed tail back if you try and sell it now for 8.2 million credits, that is one month away, so one month without your McLaren, but at least you can make some credits, if that is what you need at the moment. As already mentioned throughout the episode, make sure you are planning to win all these cars that you could try and sell right now for some possible quick profit, if there is enough demand for them, just so that you are not left without them ending up giving the money back and actually losing a bit due to the auction house tax, which I believe it is 50% or somewhere around that. It is impossible to foresee if uh, the cars will worth less or more, once they are featured again, but at least theoretically, since more people should get to own all these cars, their price tag should drop for some... dramatically actually. So better be on the safe side and sell while you still can, if you need the credits. And that would be all for this first episode of Cars to Dump before the new update. Hope you like it and also learned a thing or two about the new backstage and some auction house stuff. If you did, your like and subscribe is much appreciated, thanks. For any questions or discussions, feel free to use the comment section below. Till next time, have fun racing!